Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can connect your Excel online file to Power BI and later on sync that file as well. So I've stored one of my this sales data file in my SharePoint online document library. You can save it to your OneDrive as well and then connect this to my Power BI desktop and publish my report and sync this report as well to this particular Excel sheet. This is my sales data looks like and uh, I'll go into my Power BI desktop to achieve this one. I'll click on this get data web. It will ask me for the URL. I'll go back to my document library, check the sales, the I button. You can see path here, copy this one, test it here in your notepad seems good to me go back to my url paste it here it will ask for the authentication click on organization account sign in sign in with your username and password click on connect in the navigator select your sheet click load my sheet one has been loaded here now what i can do is i can create a stacked column chart in my power bi to kind of generate a report and i'm gonna select a country in the axis and unit sold into the values you'll see the reports is here. Now you can see that with the country name, I'm having the number of unit has been sold to specific countries. Now click on save. You can save this PBX file either into your local system or either into your online drive that up to you. I'm saving with the sales report. Click save. and publish this to my workspace. You can go to your Power BI web version and you'll see your sales report here as well. This is your sales report here. Now, next thing what I have to do is if I make any changes to this particular sales list, change it should reflect into my sales report here in Power BI online. As you can see in the Australia country, I'm having 12,995 units sold. I'll go in my sales data, apply a country filter here. Select Australia. And I'll make update to Australia and my changes will be saved automatically. I'll go in my Power BI report now for Australia. As you can see, the unit sold remains same. So what I can do is manually, I can go to my sales report data set and can refresh this one. Now the unit sold has been changed from 12,995 to 15,919. So that means our refresh worked, but what I want is, I don't have to refresh this manually. So I want to apply a scheduled refresh here so that every time I made changes to my Excel sheet, my, this data set will be refreshed automatically and it will reflect in my report. So I'll go into my, this scheduled refresh here and uh, click on schedule refresh i'll enable it you have option either daily or weekly you can select the time zone according to your requirement i'm selecting right now is 5:57 for me so i'll schedule it 6 a.m in the morning and click on apply one thing to remember is that you can add another timing so the difference will be like half an hour difference. So you can set it for every half an hour if you want to refresh this one. So for right now, this is it for me. 
I have applied all the changes. Yes. And now I'll go to my this report again, this Excel sheet again, and paste data again. And my data will be saved automatically. I'll refresh my page. There is no change in data. I'll go into my Power BI Online, my workspace. What it shows is refreshed at 5.55 a.m. and next uh, refresh is 6 a.m. I'll wait for two minutes. I'll come back and see if my data get refreshed or not. Now you can see it's 6 a.m. and my data set is getting refreshed automatically. You can see the refresh sign here. So now you can see my sales report has been updated at uh, 6 9 a.m. Although I have scheduled at 6 a.m. It took me nine minutes to refresh it. But any which way I'll go to my sales report now. As of now you can see Australia is having this 15919. I'll refresh this. And now you can see that from 15.9192, now it's 18.843. So the changes we have made to our, the sales data has been updated successfully into my Power BI reports. So this is the way you can apply a scheduled refresh to your Power BI data set. And without manually doing it every time, you can apply a schedules either once a time in a day, twice a day, thrice a day, it's totally depend on you or you can set up in the gap of half, half an hour every time you can set up in the 30 minutes gap that's totally up to you so this is the power bi free version so i guess for power bi pro version you can do it for five or ten minutes as well i'm not sure about that but this is the case i guess so i hope you like this video if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching have a good day